Hello, I'm David. I sit here with my uh, good friend Joey Korn and I've just spent the weekend with him uh, going through his workshop. And uh, Joey, when we went through the workshop, there was an interesting thing which came to my mind that I wanted to uh, ask you about. <clears throat> yeah. So in my understanding, this, these four days that we have just been spending together is just about showing us that prayer and blessing works. That's, That's right. right. That's mm -hmm. right. We did uh, four days of, of dowsing, learning to douse, the basics of dowsing and dowsing, again, a, a, a dowsing with a, a pair of L-shaped pieces of wire. With these L-shaped pieces of wire, you can find energies that are everywhere around us, you can, in our homes, in our offices, um, and, um, and some of these energies are beneficial to us, strengthening to us, and some are detrimental or weakening to us. And so uh, we, what I've learned is we can um, find these energies with, with a pair of rods or any other dowsing tool, really. And then we can use prayer or more accurately, blessing. Mm -hmm. I ask, basically, I ask God to bless the energy field to make it beneficial to us, to make it bring, help it to bring healing and balance into our beings and immediately it happens. So there are many different kinds of energy that we work with over the weekend. Some are, several different kinds are related to energies of the earth. Some are related to uh, energies of electronic appliances, what, what's called EMF or electromagnetic fields, and some are related directly to us as spiritual beings. And so we learned over the time, over the weekend, I taught many, everybody to find many different kinds of energies that could be weakening or detrimental to us, and then use prayer and blessing to change it. So really, basically, I spent four days convincing everybody again and again and again with demonstrations after demonstration after demonstration that the process of prayer and bless or especially blessing works. Prayer to me is, is more maybe personal prayer let's say is more like a pleading. Dear God help me do this without a, necessarily a full belief that, that anything's happening that there's anybody out there listening. But with dowsing and muscle testing, two different ways that I do it. With muscle testing, for example, I would get you to hold your arms straight out and I'd push down and measure, get a measure of your strength. Thoughts that are weakening to you, thought, your, thought, thoughts of your, of your problems in life, of your issues, your health condition, wor your worries about your health and, or the health of your loved ones or friends um, will weaken you. P positive joy-filled thoughts will strengthen you. So, um, for example, I just get people to think of uh, a problem in their lives. I show them that they're weakened. And then I guide them through a blessing or I do a blessing over them to help them with that problem in their lives. And then right after that blessing, they'll be strengthened when, you, when they think of their problem rather than, or their issue rather than weakened. Mm -hmm. Because the blessing, the energy of the blessing help really does help you and it's immediately evident. So I've come up with many different ways to demonstrate that blessing really works to convince people to do it. People, people often say to me, uh, David, they'll say, um, how after they've been to a whole workshop or after they've been, and it might be three, four, or even five days that we do retreats in our home in Georgia uh, a few times a year and it's five days. And even after five days, or maybe after one hour in a remote session that I do over the phone, okay, and help people over the, when, when I'm talking to them over the phone, and I'll sh even then demonstrate to them ways that these energies, that blessing really works. Then they'll say, well, how often do I have to do it? Do I have to do a, you know, a blessing every, over myself and my family every day? Like, that's a lot. And I turn it around and I say, well, how often do you have negative thoughts and emotions? That's how often you should say a blessing. And then they go, what? <laughs> because you see, a negative thought, especially a negative emotion, has the exact opposite effect on the energies, the, 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 the subtle energies that are within us and around us. Even the earth energies in our home 
has the exact, a negative thought or emotion has the exact opposite effect as a blessing. And I call negative thoughts and emotions anti-blessings. So when you have an anti, when you do an anti-blessing, when you get angry, for example, it brings weakening and detrimental energy into you, and then it's reflected in your living environment, in your home, around your bed, uh, in your office, wherever you are. It's reflected out there, and then it affects you and other people. And um, so it's an anti-blessing. Now, through the ages, I feel that we've sort of forgotten about our ability to do blessings. Mm -hmm. So we think we need to go to some holy man or woman to, have, to be blessed, to have our home blessed, to have our objects blessed that we wear like our Saint Christopher in Christian, Christianity or I'm Jewish, our mezuzahs that we might wear or put at the doorposts of our home. Um, and so we think we need to call the rabbi or the priest or somebody. Um, but we all have the power of blessing. And so um, we just need to remember that we have it and, and believe in that power and then use it. So uh, again, I, um, get pe I convince people many different ways over and over again that this, this prayer and blessing works through these demonstrations. And then they see immediately that, it, that it's, it's made a difference. And there's n it's not a matter of faith anymore. It, you experience it. Yeah, yeah, and that was what I experienced in, in this workshop. I mean, you have always heard about this, that... The power of prayer. The power of prayer, but, but the way you presented it just gave it body, it just gave it meaning, because we could feel it ourselves getting stronger and weaker whenever we blessed ourselves. Right, or stronger when you bless yourself. Stronger when you bless yourself. Be weaker before you bless yourself, yeah.